Boy, oh boy. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe all those people? No. <laughs> huh? I, I can't imagine that, really. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Whitaker, my second hour guest here on Monterey on tonight. And uh, we've been chatting with uh, Don about uh, the things he does here on the Monterey Peninsula. And you're quite uh, quite the artist. You, oh, thank you. Yeah. I uh, Wendy's told me some great things about you. We've got some photos. We've got your website. Let's put the website up and start with that, uh, Dylan. Let's wow. show. Have you, can you get it up? Don Whitaker's Test of Time. And he spells. With a Y. Remember, yes, it's with a he, Y. He spells time differently than you and I spell time. T-I-M-E. No. Don spells it T-Y-M-E. Why does he do that? Why does he do that? Because he wants to be different. There you go. <laughs> A luxury estates by, is that renowned? Yeah. Artisans. artisans yes. Uh-huh. Now, are these all uh, local, uh, yes. Don? Yes, they are. They are. That's Pebble Beach right there. That's a beautiful home. My goodness. And, and this one, where is this Carmel. one? That's a Carmel. That looks like a Carmel shack. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> and this is interior. Now, yeah. where was this This taken? was in Carmel Valley. Also Carmel Valley. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. And this one? Uh, that's the same house that we just Same house. At. Wow. Yes. Beautiful home. I'll bet that cost a pretty penny. Well, I believe they all did yeah. their major investments in this style actually ah uh, uh. now tell me about how you become involved in these type of homes are you in construction are you just coming in and giving advice to the homeowner on how the look should be uh basically people uh search me out actually they do yeah well yeah. you're you, you've got a a great reputation in the area well, and the way you build that up is you come through you, when you need to. Yeah, well, you know? and, and, so. and you know what? In construction, that's how you have to be because my experience, sometimes you get a guy who uh, says he's going to do all these wonderful things, and then he doesn't. That does happen and, for sure. Boy, that, that's pretty frustrating, isn't well, it? Well, you know, that's why... Uh, I don't know if you look at uh, the way people feel about professions and stuff. Uh, contractors sometimes have a bad rep yeah, because yeah. of that. Yeah. And that would be people that come in, say during a disaster or something, yeah. make promises that they can't fulfill, take a deposit, do shoddy work, and then leave. And then you go looking for them. Well, they're... Generally from out of the area, and yeah. then they just go to another area. You know, and I guess the tip there, Don, isn't it. You really need to find out, when someone gives you referrals, you need to talk to the people that they have referred you to because you get a great story on if this guy is going to do the job that he tells you he's going to do. You know, that's actually where... All the business I get comes from referrals. Referrals, yeah. Those those are gold, yeah. Because you've already satisfied somebody, and Made their friends are just like them. Yeah, basically. they they just want beautiful work on their projects and, and unique work and too. Unique work, you know. Yeah. Any more uh, pictures on that uh, website of Don's uh, that we didn't show, uh, Dylan? Um, Go take a. Uh, Dig down deep yeah. because he's got some beautiful stuff on that website. Let me take a look at the virtual book here. The virtual book? Ah, the virtual book. You want to do the virtual book? I don't know what the virtual book is, so let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do the virtual d d book, Dylan. Is that what Wendy sent us? Did Wendy send them? Uh, she sent some photos, but they're the same photos on the website. Oh, the same from the website. Yeah. Okay. All so, right. Yeah, do that, um, because we want to give this guy uh, uh, some great publicity, because he comes highly recommended. Ah, there oh, you go. Yeah, you see that, that. that desk I made right there? You built that desk? Yeah, I built that desk. Oh, that's beautiful. At first it was a vanity, and then we turned it into a desk. You did. Now that staircase to the left, did you do that? No, did you actually that, that was existing in this house oh, that, was that we renovated yeah. uh, in Carmel Valley. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, what are the photos over on the left side? Are those, uh, yeah, go down the photos and let's see what we find here. 
that's standing the test of time. I love the way you spell time. And uh, look at that. So that's uh, that's where uh, that's a Dutch door right there. Obviously, yeah. the one yeah. on the left upper is under construction. Uh huh. And uh, it shows the before you put a finish on it and yep. the whole thing. And then like how that. it looks when it was finished. Exactly. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, now, do you do uh, refurbishing of existing residences and yes. go in and yes and and help folks uh, do a remodel? That's actually what these are right these here. These are remodels. Yeah. And I, today, now, when someone would get in touch with you, Don, and they say, "Come out and take a look," um, from the time that you walk into a residence and sign a contract with the owner of the residence, what's it take? It doesn't it take about a year to do a re yeah sometimes a year two years maybe two years yeah depending on the scope. Wow, 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 wow! But now are these ho homes older homes in the area, or mm. generally when do people? They've been in a home for X number of years. When do they want to remodel and bring that home up to date? What's it? Thirty years? Thirty-five years? How long does it take before someone says? Hey, this house needs an upgrade. It, it needs to. We need to spend some money and fix this place up. Well, you know, it's usually somebody that just bought that house. Ah. You know, they especially so the, say the, in Carmel, where yeah, uh, you know, the price of housing has gone sky high. Right. So now that's a big investment now. Yeah. You know, and yeah. when you remodel it, you yeah. can realize a better return on your investment. So, let's suppose I'm going to just throw these ideas out there to you because you're a pro at this. So there's a house that has been in Carmel for 50 years. Okay. Okay. And it was the original owner of the house and they lived in it and they pass on. Now the house is on the market. It's up for sale. Of course, the value has escalated over all these years. And say that house now today is $3 million. Okay. And it's dated, meaning it's when it was built 50 years ago. They didn't change the kitchens. They didn't change the, the bathrooms. They didn't do anything to it. It's just the same as it was 50 years ago. Three million bucks is the asking price now. You go in, you take a look at the house, and you say to the new owner, we got to redo the bathrooms. We got to redo the kitchens. We're going to, you know, bring it up to date. Can you spend now on a three million dollar house another million dollars? Yeah, you, you can, could. or even more, or more. Yeah. Now it depends on if it's historical or not. Historical. If the house is historical, you can uh, you have to make it look like it originally was on the outside. Uh -huh. Okay. But on the inside, you can update it with modern. You can do updates. anything you want. Exactly. And the city of Carmel doesn't care. What you do on the inside, they're only concerned about keeping the outside pretty much the same, right? Well, right. And, and there's uh, a Mills Act is where you can use your property taxes over a period of 10 years to help defray the cost of building. Oh, what's it called? The Mills, Mills Act? Mills Act, yes. Tell me about that one. That's a new one on me. Well... The thing is that they want to preserve these homes. Okay? They want them to keep... keep well, keep. it's part of history. So, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, if you look at it like a nice Victorian or something, it'd be a shame to tear it down yeah. just because somebody wants to develop that property. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is an incentive for the owners uh, to upgrade... And it. keep that same footprint, that yeah, same home. Yeah, you have to... You can't... Put any more windows in that were there, any more doors. You have to use the, the uh, original openings. Uh, the siding has to be restored to what it was, uh -huh. just as if it was built uh, 50 to 100 years ago. Uh -huh. On I the see. inside, you you can do it. You can, you're going to want to upgrade the electrical, the yeah, plumbing, and yeah, everything. Yeah. Pretty much, uh, just strip it down inside to to the two by fours and uh, start from scratch. Exactly, now, can you, you do have to do that. Can you re, like, say a room is too small, a bedroom. They want to make the bedroom maybe instead of 
three bedrooms, they want to make two big bedrooms. Can you do that? You can do that, but you need to, you know, go through the building department ah. to be able to do that. You don't have carte blanche yeah. to do it. I mean, you got to still have to bring it up to a level. But what you don't have to do on the outside is, say, uh, replace the windows with double pane windows. You don't or you do? You don't. You don't have to. You don't have to. There's, there's a Title 24, which has to do with energy conservation. Uh -huh. And so, but with this act, because you're restoring a historical building, you can replace the windows as if they were built back 20, mm. no, I mean 100 years ago. The house we're doing right now was built back 100 years ago. 100 years ago, yeah. wow. And so it's still standing, and that's a testament to 1923. whoever built it. Gee you know, whiz. through the earthquakes and all that stuff, and it's still there. Um, so. so how do people get in touch with you? Is there a number on your website that they can call, Don? Yeah, there's a, you know, they can get through it, the website, or... Um, What's the best Wendy way? will get out there and tell what, What's the best way to reach you? Uh, through the your website? website? The okay. website would be the best way to Test the time. Go get your pencil. Write it down. Don Whitaker. Uh, he is an artisan. And uh, if you would like to reach him, it's 831-655-2008. I believe so. I never right? call myself. You so never I call yourself. What, is that the right <laughs> number, Dylan? Yeah. Okay, so test of time, Don Whitaker. And uh, Wendy, thank you for, for getting a hold of Don. It, what an interesting man and what interesting work he does. Uh, and uh, before Monterey on Tonight show tonight, I didn't know Don Whitaker. Oh, no. No, I didn't know you. I was anonymous. You were, but now you're famous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to gonna have a mug to prove it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, great. He's of course, of them. you know, I usually drop those and break them. Oh, so. no, don't do that. I'll try not to. Don't do that. Don, thank you so much for being <laughs> You're here. You're welcome. Okay, let's get back to more Tina Turner on Monterey on Tonight.